Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a little pamper routine. Um, it's really not much, but I guess these are like my beauty secrets and I'm just, I've really gotta do something to myself. So I'm gonna share with you. I just took a shower. I personally don't get my hair done. I just get it cut like once or twice a year. Since I don't spend money on that, I try to buy a nice shampoo and conditioner. I'm using the Joyco K-Pack and I got these like at Ross. I always let my hair air dry and I've been using this bath pack hair oil and I, I use this because I saw Jordan Page use it and you, if you don't know who she is, just look her up. Um, she's like mom of like eight kids, but she uses that on her girl's hair to help it not be tangly. So, um, what I've been using and then I just brush it out with like a wet brush and I really don't do anything else to my hair um, if I I use dry shampoo I like the Batiste for brown hair and I use like just whatever hairspray and a heat protectant if I do put heat on my hair so I just took a shower washed my hair conditioned it shaved I like to use the Venus razors um they're really good they're really sharp i cut myself um i shave my arms i don't know why i always have um comment down below if you shave your arms or not because i know not everybody does but uh, i used to think it was weird but then i tried it and i like i'm never going back i love it so much the plan in today's video is i'm going to be showing you how i do my brows how i trim them keep them up what i do um i'm gonna be shaving my face also gonna be sharing with you how i do my lashes y'all have been commenting all the time about my lashes because my lashes look really long well i've kind of like just figured out my seven dollar lash extension hack and i'm gonna share with you so let's get into it okay so for skincare all i do is i don't wash my face in the shower it gets makeup everywhere i take it off with coconut oil and then i wipe it off with sensitive baby wipes so i don't really i didn't put makeup on but i'm just gonna take like a little and i'm just gonna try to take some of it off um i also just like use coconut oil for a moisturizer it's been like a really big struggle for us well for me um we're getting our bathrooms redone i know that it looks good from this point you can kind of tell but we don't have like bathrooms and like my stuff is just everywhere my hair stuff is everywhere like i don't have just like a place to get ready so i feel like it's cluttered up my whole house all right so the only other thing that i do with my skin every day is i use my lumi spa and i'm gonna go get it because it's like a game changer for your face this is a lumi spa it's a chargeable device um for your face so it comes with a cleanser that you pick out for whatever skin type you have. Um, and it's got, so you can see, this is not like a brush that like cleans and agitates your face, like the bristles. Okay, so the company that sells this is called New Skin and it's like a dual action cleansing device for your skin. It works in two minutes to help remove dirt and grime and oil off of your face. It helps clean your skin, purify it, make it softer, reduce wrinkles and inflammation, and also clean your pores. Literally, all I do is I put the cleanser on here and it's like a skin massage for like two minutes every night. And even after using coconut oil and baby wipe, I still get yucky makeup off of this. So I will link it down below. One of my friends sells this and I love this. This is a game changer. This is literally the only thing I do to my skin besides the coconut oil and the baby wipes. Moving on, I'm going to work on my face. So I'm going to shave my face and it sounds crazy, but it really helps your skin feel soft and smooth and it's important to remove like dead skin so all i do sorry i gotta put my mirror right there 
is I take these little razors off of Amazon and I just carefully start shaving. And it's really makes your skin soft. take tweezers and I really don't do anything except tweeze like in the middle um, and if there's any hairs that are like way down here I pull them but if there aren't I don't do anything all right so for the next part I take little scissors and an eyebrow brush and I trim my brow. So I do this about once a month and all I do is I comb these out to the side like this in their natural shape and I do a little snip and then I go inside and I comb them up and I give them a little trim. And sometimes I have like one random hair that sticks up and I have to always pull it because it's out of line. So, basically what I do and try to make my brows go to here and then like there I think that's like the rule and then the highest point should be like diagonal so I'm gonna do the other side how I do my brows. All right, so I'm going to put on a lip scrub. One of my good friends gave this to me and um, I'll link it down below if I can find it, but it's like basically just like sugar and and then you like lick it off because it's like real ingredients like mm -mm. This is the new part that I am adding to my beauty secrets. Um, I have wanted to do this forever and I never have and I'm about to. I've seen so many people do this and I'm gonna do it. So basically, I'm going to dye my brows just a smidge darker because my hair is pretty dark and I feel like my brows aren't as dark and I spend a lot of time making them darker. So this hopefully will like make it faster for me when I get ready. So this is just beard dye and I got the medium brown and I'm gonna do a little bit of color developer and color base. Mix it and let it sit. Hopefully I don't mess up my brows because that's gonna be really embarrassing at work tomorrow. It's literally only supposed to be on there for like five minutes, so let's see. with the other. And now I'm gonna do the other side. Okay. 
Okay, so while this is going, I'm gonna show you my lash extension tip. So basically all I've discovered is that a primer does a whole lot for your lashes and that's what I'm doing. I'm not opposed to lash extensions. That's just like a lot for me though. Oh my gosh, these are getting really dark. Um, Anywho, so this is the L'Oreal Lash Primer. I know that there are tons of them out there. I'm just going with this one. Like I've been using this for like six months now and I picked this because you can buy it at the drugstore and I'm not gonna go buy an expensive one. Um, so I'm gonna show you what this does in case you don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh, I feel like I look cool though. I look like Lily Collin. Mm. Working. So I'm getting kind of scared. I'm gonna wipe some of this off. With a baby wipe, this is just a baby wipe. Did I use Did that do much guys or did that not do anything? Should I do it again? Okay, maybe I should go with the darker brown next time. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look and see. Maybe I need to do it again and let it sit for longer, but it looks all right. I didn't screw it up. So I do two coats of primer, two coats of mascara. Here we go. It's just like white bristles. So what you're gonna see is like the tips are going to get like little fibers on them. All right, so maybe you can't tell the difference. I don't know. I can tell a difference. I can tell that they're thicker. Um, maybe you can't, I don't know. I like legit feel like they're thicker like here. Just give it a try. Maybe that wasn't very convincing, but this is what I do my lashes. <laughs> People have been asking me like in every video what I do and that's what I do so just give it a try if you like it um, if not I'm sorry <laughs> anyways I better go because this baby's sleeping the lip color I wear every day I'm gonna just say this because people ask it's new color power lips polish duo lip shine I'll link this down below too but everyone is always like what is your lip color and I always like forget this is the color Love Sandy. <laughs> so. I know I'm going to Bella. Oh. Um, it dries and it stays on all day. And then there's a gloss on the other side. So. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that you enjoyed. Stay tuned for this weekend's video. I'm going to be sharing with you my 4 a.m. morning routine. <laughs> Seriously. I would get up at four. So I'm going to share you what I do, why I do it, and some tips. I will see you all again next time. Bye, everybody.